And this is a Fox News alert. Now, you just heard from the Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy, who is in the middle of a tent standoff with the federal government over his cattle's grazing on public land. It's actually state land. Now, Bundy family supporters have been showing up from all over the country all week. And joining me now from the ranch are Cliven Bundy's sister, Margaret Houston, is with us, and one of the family supporters, Richard Jensen. Uh, welcome both of you to the program. Uh, Margaret, let me start with you. I, I understand that you got into a bit of a tussle with the uh, BLM. Uh, agents out there is that true yeah what yeah, happened i did yeah what happened um we were uh just at the picket lines you know just demonstrating and we noticed up on the mountain that there was uh, you know rangers coming down so uh we spotted them and they were there was 14 to 15 vehicles we noticed there was a dump truck pulling a, low, a backhoe so we wanted to know what was in the dump truck and what they were doing up there and so we headed up and met them before they hit the pavement um, i i went up the dirt road and uh you know i was hollering in the window go home we want you to go home we want our cows back uh you know that kind of thing uh, a couple of them went by me um, i i got in front of one uh, he just kept coming and kind of pushed me with his truck a little bit. I st stood to the side, another one come up, and I was just hollering at him. Same thing, go home. We don't want you here. We want our cows. You and know, Margaret, that kind I, of thing. I, um, if, if, I don't understand one thing. This is state property, right? This isn't federal land. No, no federal right, land. This right, is so it's state Clark property. County state and, land. And the desert tortoise is thriving, and, and the government's killing them because there's too many of them? Well, they're, they're not thriving out on the desert as much. They've hauled them to count, uh, areas in Vegas, fenced areas, and they have them there because they've taken them off the land in Vegas around the, around the area. You had to pay money uh, per acre to see if there was turtles. Yeah. They would take them off put them in this impoundment. Now they can't afford to pay for them and take care of them, so they're killing them. Uh, that, Richard, and yeah, let, let me go to Richard. Happening. I guess, Richard, what everybody, I'm talking to everybody, our crew here, everybody wants to know why is the government handling it this way? When it's, if, 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 if for example, the cattle don't hurt the desert tortoise, that, that Cliven has done this for, his family's done it from the 1800s on, why are they provoking this confrontation this way? It's like they're arresting the cattle, and if they really wanted, if they felt they had a legal case, I guess they could try and go in and arrest Cliven. Why are they handling it this way? Has anyone given you an explanation? Well, well, Sean, I don't know uh, what their real motive behind it all is. Uh, it don't make any sense. We never thought in our wildest dreams that they would come out armed, uh, and treat the local residents here like they uh, had no rights. No, uh, well, is that, I mean, it's like a martial law around here. And, and, and you've got free speech zones, and only in those zones. You, is it true you have snipers up in the hills? Yeah. There is. Yes, there is. And if you uh, drive to Mesquite on I-15 and look at the top of the Mesa, you will see snipers positioned at the top of the Mesa and look overlooking their compound. This quote, quote, supposedly protecting the compound. This right. has all the, this has there, all the markings. A... Go ahead. This has all the markings of a disaster in the making here. It really does. It's, it's very scary. It's very scary as a resident and citizen of the United States to have guns trained on you for no reason. Yeah, the government doesn't have more important what? things to do than, than fight for land that they don't even own. Right. Well, exactly right. I mean, our freedoms are on the edge of being taken away from us, and when they're gone, they won't be, they, we won't be able to get them back. All right, guys, uh, we have our crew out there tonight, and we're going to have much more on this story, and we'll follow it all weekend, and we'll see you back here hopefully Monday. Thank you for being with us, guys, and, and stay safe out there. It's obviously very threatening. Thank you. It Thank is. You. Thank you. All right, and when we come back, we'll have more on the standoff.